welcome back to another video. It's the new year. And we're kind of starting this year off okay. But yesterday, though, I was driving all day. Me and my dad drove all the way to Streeter and back 200 miles. The Tundra, we think the alternator, is starting to go bad because the voltage was really high and we barely made it home. Yeah, so basically, we were driving home from Streeter and we smelled something and we thought, I thought it was the subs, but my dad smelled it too. But then again, those subs never really smelled like that because they were used. They were practically brand new, but they were also used. They were, they were already broken in, not like the subs in the safari. But we smelled something burning and we pulled over and, we, and every, all the gauges that were fine on the Tundra except the voltage. It was really high, it was near 18. So pulled over, my dad popped the hood, checked everything. He thinks it's the alternator, but we were like barely 10 minutes out of Streeter. So we still had an hour, more than an hour and a half to go. So we just were like, fuck it. I kept driving and we made it home. So. You can't really be that mad because we've had the Tundra for 20 years and now things are starting to mess up and it's a really good truck, it's really reliable, it's been 20 years so you can't really blame it. Are you going to turn it on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everything seems fine right now. I mean, obviously there's something wrong with it. Get in the driver's seat. See, but up there, up there it says it's fine, but right here it says it's high. It's a little bit lower than it was yesterday, no? Yeah, kinda. Yesterday was like close to that line and further. Yeah. I think like the more we drove it kinda got closer and closer. Mm -hmm. See, rev it up to like 2000 RPM. gotta figure this out well that's pretty much it for this video because there's not much else we can do oh and the door's open um yeah there's not much else we can do my dad said he needs a new battery and he has to check it some more but with that being said that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you in the next one Wow. Okay. Very unexpected part of the video. I This was honestly going to be a shorter video, but right now my dad just called my mom saying that something happened to the Tundra. So I already had a pre-planned title for the this video, and then this happened to the Tundra. So now it's probably going to keep the same title, but I just was not expecting all of this to happen because originally as you heard earlier the voltage is really high in the tundra 
We don't know why. We still have to check it. But now, my dad called my mom. He was pulling into his work. I guess he went out for lunch, and he was pulling back in. And the ball joints just messed up. They fell. Apparently, it messed up the bumper, too. So, me and my mom are going to head over there right now and basically see, see the damage. I don't know what to expect, but... We're gonna find out together. So, let's go. I must have pushed it back in a little bit. Oh. Couldn't even open the fucking door. Yeah, fucking, I should have took more pictures. But I was in the middle of the fucking street. Oh. I was right in the middle of the fucking street. Well, good thing it was a side street, not a busy street. Yeah. It was a side street. So you had to tow it to your work? Yeah, well, towed it from, from here to Racruzos. So that's how far I was. Right behind, I was right behind the shop. Oh. But on, the, on the side street right there. Mm. So the guy from like from here, literally from here to Racruzos, like charged me 50 fucking dollars. <laughs> You can kind of see where it's messed up. Yeah, it's fucking, so I changed the two balls on this side right now, and one on that side. I'm gonna do the other one. I'm gonna go back to work on Thursday. Well, tomorrow I'm gonna go to work, but Thursday I'm gonna go back and do the other upper ball joint, the alignment. And oil change. What happened with the voltage? You know what? It's been fine right now, but I think I'm gonna change it anyways. The alternator? The alternator and the battery. Uh, the battery's not too good. I checked the, I checked the cranking power. Well, when I checked, remember when I checked the cranking power? Yeah. It only had 300 cranking power, 300 cranking amps. So that's real low. Yeah. So I'm gonna get a battery. Most of the one that won is like $300. The alternator is one, one seven. What's only 100, 100 amps. The one the one this one comes with like 70, 80 amps. Mm. That one's 100 amps, a little bit more. I should think it should be fine. It's not like I'm fucking pounding all the time. No, yeah. That is uh, essentially it for today's video. Um, yeah. Very unexpected. But with that being said, <sighs> make sure to like and subscribe. I'm very tired. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.